Right, if it's so critical and all that sort of thing, I'm amazed we haven't heard about this until tonight, second, first of all. But second of all, if you want the public to be involved and vote yes on this, which I assume you do, then I suggest you get more information out to the public so they'll know what it means for which the town might be obligated with several million dollars worn out coming up in the future, possibly if you can't get the grants and, the grants and then you have to resort to the taxpayers. So I think it all ought to be out there available to the public more than it has been so far. That's my opinion. And I'm sorry if everybody thinks I'm picking on experience happen. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying this needs to be exposed to the public is what I'm saying. And we've made plans before which have not pursued. Now, I'm saying that experience Hampton's ever had any failures like that. I'm just saying that's happened for the town many times over the years. So I'm a little concerned about the lack of information for the public. Thank you. And, and, and Mr. Pierce, one, one, one comment to that, and I think it's really important, and you, and you bring up a good point. It is now behooves an organization like Experience Hampton and its membership to be able to now look at this, knowing that we have the majority support of the Board of Selectmen, and hopefully the majority support of the Budget Committee. It behooves us as an organization to start tomorrow morning a campaign, a public information campaign. I am sure that in talking with the local businesses, um, they will be very supportive. Uh, the membership of Experience Hampton has a wide variety of uh, contacts uh, within the community, and we will, today, uh, tomorrow morning, be starting an informational campaign. So not only at the deliberate session, but the day of the vote, I will have hoped that we have communicated fully what our intentions were behind this warrant article. 